Hey everybody, what's up? 757 Graphs here. Uh, it's 2018, so why not make it face real ear? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I've been asked a couple times now to make a video about how I store my autograph cards. So I'll definitely be doing that for y'all right now. But before I get into that, just a couple channel updates. <clears throat> my friend and I will be going to Carolina to see the Penguins play the Hurricane uh, NHL. And uh, I found out through a friend on uh, Sportsgrass uh, where Penguins will probably be staying at. So hopefully we'll, we'll do pretty well at the hotel for autographs. Didn't really order a lot because I'm not really sure how it's going to go. I've heard the Penguins are great about signing, but you know, you never know. And I don't, I've never done NHL before. So hopefully it'll be a good uh, qu quality, but not quantity day. But, yeah, expecting that that should go pretty decent. And I got a former Major League pitcher, Troy Brohan. He is a coach at a different college who will be playing my college in baseball. So he'll be coming by. I'll definitely be getting him to sign a couple cards for me. And then other than that, you know, baseball, minor league season is right around the corner. Super excited, super pumped. I will be working this summer from June to August, so... It might seem like my channels are a little slow for updates, but my job shouldn't really affect my graphing too much. Uh, my trips where I'd go to like uh, different places other than Norfolk were normally on Saturdays and Sundays, so hopefully, you know, I'll definitely still be able to do those. Uh, sometimes I do Mondays, but that wasn't a ton, and yeah. So it might be a little less, but won't really be that much. And my job, like like I said, won't affect my post-game from Norfolk stuff. So maybe a little less arrival, but I didn't really do that a ton last year either. But uh, besides that, I'm making a trip uh, in May before my job starts, where I'll be going to West Virginia Power. I'll be going to Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Louisville, Bowling Green, Lexington, Nashville, and Asheville. So I'll be seeing all those stadiums for the first time except for West Virginia Power, which I was at last summer. So if you guys want to talk about how it is to graph any of those stadiums, if you've ever been there, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably maybe ask a friend, or probably not very hard just to figure it out yourself, honestly, after you've been you know, doing our graphs for a while. You can kind of feel out where it's, you know, stand for post games or pre games or whatever. Anyhow, you know, I'm really excited for baseball season. The Pirates, we're going to suck, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes your team's going to do bad, even though know. Pirates like to be bad <laughs> for a while now. Uh, historically, within the last 20 years, speaking, we've been good. Uh, 2014, 15, uh, 16, kind of. But anyhow, that's beyond the point. Still going to stick with them, and I'm still going to watch. But my heart will probably be breaking a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, baseball season, super fun. You love to get graphs. And looking forward to this year. So, on to the actual purpose of this video. To show y'all um, how to store your autograph cards. So, you know, first off, you want to get a signed card. I got a Josh Roop at the David Wright uh, autograph night, which I've shown before. So, this is one of the cards he signed for me. So first things first, you want to get a signed card. <laughs> I think that's might be the most important step. But afterwards, you want to put your card in one of these plastic sleeves. You can get like a thousand of these in a pack. I'm not really sure how much the packs cost now. I kind of just buy in bulk, so I'm not really sure what run pack runs now. But anyhow, get the pack, and uh, hopefully the camera doesn't shake. I'm doing this video on my phone. I'm holding my phone while I'm doing this, so... Bang, there you go, you get it in the plastic. And uh, just for some extra security, because a little thin plastic sleeve really isn't that much security. I mean, that might be good for some people, but I like to feel pretty confident. So you get uh, what these are called top loaders. You can buy, you know, a pack of 25, I think for like three bucks. It's kind of rip off a piece of plastic, but whatever. I don't really buy the single packs, like I said, I buy in bulk for this too. So you can kind of get better deals. But yeah, you put it in there, and uh, bang. That's how you do that. 
And after you, you're done with that, you just buy, um, I'm not really sure, it's like a three row box. I'll just show it. Uh, this is what I got. So, keep my cards in here. You can kind of see. So, once you're done, you just kind of throw the card in there and that's it. So, yep, that's uh, everything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> Catch you all later. Peace.